So what are the causes of metabolic acidosis in the newborn? So perinatal asphyxia is a very important factor and uh, you can review my detailed uh, video on asphyxia in newborn. One of the commonest reasons in a premature baby is underperfusion, underfilling, reduced fluid intake. So they have a high insensible water loss and this may lead to a relative underperfusion. So uh, this is one of the factors where you may consider a saline bolus. Hypothermia, hypoglycemia, hypoxia all are associated with acidosis if they are severe. And as I mentioned in the previous slide, worsening lung disease with inadequate support can lead to increased work of breathing, reduced uh, oxygen perfusion to the tissues and uh, lactate increase causing a vicious cycle. It's usually mixed acidosis in severe respiratory distress. Sepsis, of course, uh, can cause uncoupling of the oxidative phosphorylation and um, poor tissue perfusion can be a factor as well. The same happens in necrotizing enterocolitis where uh, third spacing and underperfusion can be a factor as well as the sepsis-like manifestation can be a factor. In both sepsis and in EC, we may have suppressed cardiovascular function as well. Uh, heart disease presents with shock due to various factors and any shock can contribute to metabolic acidosis. Anemia, if there is reduced oxygen carrying capacity, you may have acid buildup because there's less oxygen reaching the tissues. The heart has to function more, the respiratory system has to function more. I'll be discussing inborn errors of metabolism in the next slide and I'll probably plan a separate uh, lecture on the topic. There is already a video by uh, Dr. Nuha in the channel. Renal injury, of course, leads to accumulation of the acid waste, which is meant to be excreted by the kidneys, and this leads to uh, increased anion gap metabolic acidosis. Bicarbonate can be lost excessively in the urine, especially in the premature babies who are not mature enough, and so this could contribute to uh, low bicarbonate level and acidosis. So this will respond to uh, replacing bicarbonate uh, over a period of time. So in terms of uh, inborn errors of metabolism, we have a few errors of metabolism which can lead to metabolic acidosis. And it's important when we have persisting metabolic acidosis that we include lactate, ammonia, and our anion gap measurement, uh, especially when the course suggests inborn error of metabolism. So the main groups of IEMs that present with severe metabolic acidosis include defects of pyruvate metabolism, some of these are mitochondrial defects, and other defects of the mitochondrial electron transport chain. Organic acidemias, of course, are part of the newborn screen, and uh, usually it's uh, related to presenting by day three, day four, with significant acidosis and high ammonia. Maple syrup urine disease can also present with acidosis. And we have defects of gluconeogenesis, multiple factors, and obviously if you suspect inborn error of metabolism, keep the baby NPO on IV fluids and consult a metabolic consultant.